Howdy fellow cancel. Do we have a big update to talk about today? Today we're going to be talking about the biohazard and armory update and there is a lot to it. You're barely going to see me be in game playing at all. Honestly, I think I'm just going to cut over to a place right away because I don't want to be in trouble for uh, being AFK or something. So <laughs> um, yeah, now that I think about it, I shouldn't have gone into a public server if I want to have background gameplay for the while I just talk. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and join my VIP server real fast, and then we're gonna get right into the update. All right, now that we are in my private server, now is the time that we're actually gonna start talking about this biohazard and armory update. Honestly, I don't even think we're gonna get any gameplay in today's video because there's a lot that happened for this update, including a bunch of bugs that the developers accidentally put into the game, and then they squashed all of them. So we're, there's a lot to get into for this update. We're gonna start off all the way on the update that came out on July 24th, which was the actual update and it is version 2.5.0 for additions we have new scp 173 containment zone new scp 005 new scp 009 containment zone added custom inventory system added armory system added power system support for cdc tower spotlights added dr bright rank to scd added teleports for 008 and object storage added cd request boards orange cd is ready for testing blue cd is being tested red cd has crossed the line gray cd has died Pick message on profile listen to release river hop slash overwrite protection new typewriter menu effect for the in-game ui added a health bar to the name tag disables during god mode and changes color when on an scp team for fixes and changes there is a bunch here so get ready we have changed version number from 2.4.2 to 2.5.0 Fixed 106 recontainment procedure, TDC watchtower decorated, increased all NVG visibilities, changed SED rank requirements for supervisor, head of research, and Dr. Bright to 500 XP, changed jump height from 7.2 to 4.5, patched mob client directory issue, removed rank print statement in menu script line 53, Warhead now responds SCPs upon detonation, changed the SCDC cafeteria CCTV name, fixed plant in shelf, Fixed spotlights poking through CDC tower, fixed CDC tower bands, darkened the transparency of the in-game menu UI, increased the size of the ammo counter for the crosshair marginally, changed the entirety of the radio UI for more fluidity, improved player info UI and added a keycard level indicator, modified menu system to account for the custom backpack system when making changes to core GUI, changed how the version number works, adjusted NPC prompt frame, shifted radio UI down with the new UI changes, data manager get field returns a deep copy rescripted bomb system bomb now detonates in 10 seconds instead of 15 change cdc update icon tools are now selectable patch some esoteric bugs from old versions patch the scp610 button scp610-2 now infects players with the spore attack damage range is also increased with the spore attack Increased overall SCP-610 damage from a random between 10 and 20 to a random between 20 and 60. Increased SCP-610-1 walk speed to 16, 610-2 to 12, and 610-3 to 38. Added a cooldown to the SCP-610 touch brick. The cooldown only activates after a breach has finished and does not work for anyone using the traditional method of breaching via the containment zone. Water cannon damage for SCP-457 increased to a random between 50 and 200. Guns can no longer kill SCP-457. For removals, we have removed countdown clock and removed timestamps in radio messages. Now we go on to the next version, which is 2.5.1, where they added two more slots to the backpack, new rules link on the home page, and now we go into the fixes and changes for this part. Fixed backpack, changed infected SCPs to receive L4 cards, increased display order of main menu, fixed 05 teaming, fixed lag from terminate part, improved menu buttons, changed settings page to show coming soon, Fixed SCP team box, changed some UI scaling, lots of other bug fixes. Removals we have, remove the player from being in their own report menu, hidden rank text, and hidden team limits. Now we have 2.5.2 where they added new morphs by Sam and I'm wearing one of the new SD morphs. We have fixes and changes, fixed CDC lag, fixed morphs, fixed armory, fixed guns not damaging 008 and 009. Then we have 2.5.3 where they fixed a morph bug and the health bar. And then we have 2.5.4 which is added ranks to the team page and added team limits to the team page. Thankfully, they added this. I, I'm really glad that they added that. It, it makes the main menu look a lot nicer ever since they added that. For fixes and changes, they have fixed team handler. Morphs chosen through the menu are now given. 
disabled collisions on all morphs oh by the way that one thing morphs chosen through the menu are now given basically if you wanted to be an mtf you would automatically spawn as that same mtf over and over again until you go back to the main menu to switch it yourself so it won't prompt you with a morph button at the spawn every time i'm really thankful that they did that because that's a lot nicer disabled collisions on all morphs fixed morphs not requiring level increased cdc brightness fixed scp008 Fixed team limits, connected CDC boards to touch script, fixes lag issue, CD boards now check if a player has a terminate tag, fixed touch script, 130, fixed SCP-096 highlight, 78, attempted fix of chat UTF-8 issue. And then finally, we have the last update that we're going to be talking about, which was 2.5.5, where fixes and changes was attempts to patch Sentry SDK HTTP 429 with a touch script line 140 fix. So essentially, a lot of these things that were bug fixes, they might be in a coding language or in kind of like coding slang for those developers to keep in mind on what they fixed, how and where. And it's also for us to know that they are working on stuff as well. But there are some things in there that we'd like to know about, such as those morphs chosen through the menu are now given. So now that we're done reading the updates, what I want to quickly talk about is that there was also a newsletter that was released. Unfortunately, I did a poll and you guys voted that you guys don't want me to cover the newsletter in my videos anymore. So I won't be covering the newsletter. However, I will still talk about them and give my opinion on them. And they reworked a lot of the stuff for the divisions behind what goes on in Area 2 and how Area 2 functions and works within its community and its staff. And after these changes happened, they finally released their newest newsletter. And this newsletter was really good and I highly recommend that you guys check it out. If you guys don't know how to find it, I'll go ahead and leave a link to it in the description. Now let's go ahead and go into the game here. We're already in the game though, as you guys can see. All right, now I'm wearing the new security department morph, but this is not the only morph that changed on SD. I think all the ranks morphs actually changed. I wish that they hopefully add something in the future where they let you morph as certain different ranks because they added a way for you to grab weapons that you once had in the past and we'll cover that in this video here in a second as well i'm just saying it would be kind of cool to be able to wear a corporal outfit as a general on the security department let's go ahead and just start off at the main menu though here's the new wonderful main menu now we have their about page basically right here the rules link they talk about the roblox group and their twitter and then they talk about their discord as well and then here we have the update log i'm not going to go through all the things in here because we just covered it and talked about it as well but as you guys can see right here biohazard and armory update very nice then we go over to teams and look at this. This is the thing that makes me excited the most. We have a team limit at the bottom right. And then we have the team name, the rank you have on the team and stuff like that. So then you can go ahead and let's say I want to go to security department. I can click play and I will just be able to spawn in as this. More importantly, we can go ahead and head over to the MTF team. We'll start off with the MTF team because they also had different morph changes as well as SD has. There's a couple more teams as well, but... We're just going to start off with MTF. So, for example, let's say I want to play as Tau 5 Samsara. By the way, this morph has changed. Let's go ahead and look at this morph real fast. And as you guys can see, it looks absolutely awesome. It looks wonderful. A new update that has also happened is the armory update, which is being able to go to this gun cage right here. Go ahead and interact with it for the armory. And now we can grab the old tools that we were once able to get on this team as an example the red is guns i used to be able to have so like the hk417 i can click on it and now i have the hk417 and the gray are guns that will unlock eventually so i can't get those another cool thing is that this inventory system is supposed to save i'm not exactly sure how it saves and i'm not exactly sure if it saves for me considering the fact that i have the summer packs and i don't know if that messes with it if it does that's unfortunate but let me just go ahead and try and see if it uh, actually saves here so let's just say I want my inventory to look like this, where I have the M16A4, G41, medkit, and bag, and then I also need my water cannon right there. Let's just say that that's exactly what I want for my inventory system. Let's see if I reset and it saves. I'm not sure if this actually works yet, but I'll double check. I just respawned and unfortunately it doesn't save. Maybe there's a certain thing that I'm supposed to do. If you are a dev or you guys know how to save your inventory, let me know because it's apparently not working for me. But there was a key thing to that. After I reset, I didn't have to pick the Tau 5 Samsara morph once again. I automatically spawned with it and that's such a good addition. I really like that. Anyways, this is the Samsara morph. There's a quick 360 for it. Let's go ahead and get on to the next MTF more. Unfortunately, I don't have Alpha 1 or Epsilon 11 unlocked, so I can't really show you guys that morph, but we'll go with every other MTF morph and I'll show you guys all those as well. And then here we have the IOTA 10, looking really good. Here we have Sigma 9, also looking extremely good. Here we have the Beta 7. Here we have the new 7. 
Also, I forgot to mention that they also changed that jump height so we don't jump as high anymore. But they did that so that way we can still jump uh, often. Also, here are the uh, pending testing stuff. Maybe I can show that if I go into the Class D team. I, I don't know exactly. And it looks like they changed a little bit of like this uh, watchtower area or something. I don't, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but it looks all right, I would say. And last but not least, we have the trainee. If you ask me, these morphs look absolutely gorgeous. I am really happy with them. They look really great. But we're not done yet, though. We have SD, FE, and ISD. Those are the other teams that also had morph changes. So let's go ahead and check those out real quick as well. Here is the new and improved ISD morph. It looks awesome now. I absolutely love the way that the ISD look. And also, here is their extra morph look as well, which looks amazing. Now, I'll be honest, it's kind of hard to show you guys all of the SD morphs because whenever you rank up, you'll change your look. And I'm not sure if that's the case for any of the other ones. I'm pretty sure that the way MTF works, you just pick a specific MTF and then that's the morph you get no matter what rank you are. And I think it's the same thing for ISD is whatever rank you are, you keep the same morph. But we all know for a fact that SD changes your morph depending on what rank you are. So it's kind of hard to showcase all of that. But we can showcase this corporal one which has a decent amount of the significant changes that the sd has uh gone through so uh, i'll go ahead and show the 360 one more time just in case i kind of cut off a part where i was doing a 360 so there you guys go with that being said that means the special containment unit has also undergone a redo on their morph and it looks a lot better if you ask me and lastly so has the combat medic for sd as well i feel like all these look extremely well although i feel like what they should have done for combat medics, I feel, is that they should have made all this blue red because, it, I don't know, in my mind, I feel like red emphasizes a uh, medic more than blue, but I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Last but not least, we have the facility executive morph change, which looks like this. If you ask me, I like this a lot as well. I feel like my hats don't really fit in well. Like if I removed my necklace and my bag and my mushroom, it would probably would look a lot better, but I do genuinely like the way that this looks as well. It looks a lot better than the old look they also changed up the 05 morphs as well um but they changed those a while ago so i'm not gonna be showing that for this video i guess here's an example of one of the 05 outfits this is the 05 one outfit though here we have one through one's containment i'm not sure if this changed or not but this is what it looks like i think that one changed because it wasn't there before so I, i'm pretty sure i'm pretty confident that that was one that changed also 999's changed a little bit too look at that wow they also redid 173's containment which we're gonna quickly take a look at this looks really nice already Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, this is a lot better of a containment for this. I like this a lot more. This looks really good. I'm going to quickly try to find 008 because I want to see 008 and 009. So hopefully I didn't miss 009, but we're going to find... Oh, hey, look, 008. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's what 008 looks like. You know what? I might as well just go ahead and see what 008 does to me. Let's go ahead and check it out real quick here. So it slowly but surely turns me into a zombie, undead, and hungry for more of your kind. Time to erase the foundation. And it says I can left click to attack. Although I don't think I actually attack by left clicking. I think what actually happens to me is that I got my skin color changed to a green, which is already bad for me since I already look green. But uh, now that I have this, I can actually infect people by just walking up to them, I think. I don't think I actually have to click on anybody. Also, I realize how dark this is, and I think if you're 05, you can just press night vision goggles on and then take them off. And then for some reason, it clears up that darkness. I feel like this is how bright it should normally be i don't know why it's that dark in this sector that's kind of crazy dark and i also don't know if that's a bug it might be patched to everybody so use it while you can i suppose let's go ahead and figure out what 009 does to me real fast and then i guess that's gonna be it for this video alive but not in control you can may only watch the infection spread further okay is this similar to just 008 is that is that how this works wait you can raise and lower the temperature for this thing i don't know if that's i, I have no idea which one 009 is i gotta go read up on more scps to be honest but that's interesting as well so i'm not exactly sure what instance of 610 i got but i wanted to see how fast these actually are and honestly it kind of feels like these might be a, a little bit faster and these things were already scary and fast enough so this is really terrifying honestly all right so now i'm a class d i can go over to this thing and add my name to the testing board but now we can see my name and i guess if i cross this line it changes to escaping so that's that's really cool i really do like that that's really good information to know 
for the future. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed as much as I enjoy making these types of videos for you guys. If you guys want to see more content like this one, you guys can leave a like or a comment down below to let me know. If you guys want to see more content from me in general, you guys can subscribe. And if you guys want to get notified when I do anything on this channel, you guys can hit the notification bell. And I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my channel members, especially my Sen Nikos. Thank you guys so very much. And without further ado, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Also, I think they nerfed my pool noodle. <laughs>